Hello everyone, this is the second part of our learning apps tutorial. So we'll keep on creating new interactive apps on this platform. So first we'll go to the tab called create app. This time we're, we're going to take a look at the second group of learning apps. We'll look at some traditional formats. For example, we have crossword. So you click on this and it will be shown three examples. And we're going to create our own. Okay, we need to give it a title. Right now I'm not uh, thinking of, of a very specific topic. Let's have one about means of transportation. We need to provide some general instructions. Okay, there are a few options you can configure. For example, you may have a background image if you want. Okay, we need the, to complete this part. Questions, provide the questions for the crossword puzzle or basically the, the clues and the solution. Uh, we have the, the option called fixed alignment in case you you want a specific configuration for the crossword. If not, the program will do it for you. Okay, so we need a question or a queue here. For example, four wheeled vehicle, car. We're going to add another element. Okay, two wheel vehicle. Something like flying vehicle. Water vehicle. Okay, once you're satisfied with the, the content of your crossword, then you can go and click on finish editing and show preview. Notice that you can also have an, an, an extra space for hints in case you, you want to give people additional clues so they can complete the crossword. Right, click on finish editing. Okay, so here are the general instructions. It's a very small one because I just included very few words so if you click on the number it will be shown the clue and then you start typing the word and enter the word so the crossword is complete if you're satisfied with the way it looks so you save it so it goes to my apps so we're gonna go there and remember, we can classify the apps. So we're going to place it here, practice. Now it's here. So you see, so far I have three apps. We're going to create another one. Okay, 
this one is a bit similar in this case uh, this is a word puzzle it's a traditional learning activity so we're going to create a new one let's write food and you, you can provide a task description or you can leave it blank you could have a background image if you want and you can have a word and a hint of course you can leave this blank right potatoes or tubers milk is a dairy product All right have fish or belongs to seafood let's try another one oh uh, a tricky one avocado and it's a fruit okay I, I could keep on adding more elements we have some additional configuration settings decide if transfer written search words shall be used as well so the words can be diagonal show the search words show hints small letters fill character a general feedback at the end of the activity we can finish editing show preview so here basically students click and drag the letters to identify the words in this case uh, the hints are not shown so I'm going to go back again and mark show hint then I'm gonna show the preview again see now the hints are visible and see for example I can mark this and see avocado if you're satisfied with the way it looks then you can save it once more you go to my apps and you can uh, organize it okay we're gonna go and create another one all right let's try a memory game it's called pairing game but it's basically a memory game so here's an example just uh, flip the cards in this case you're identifying numbers these are not a pair and then again so we're gonna create new app We're going to create something about adjectives to describe personalities. You have some general settings here. And of course, you can have a general uh, direction here. Card size. We have medium, small, and large. Medium is predetermined. You can try and see which format looks better for you. It's my uh, recommendation to try this on a a small screen such as a smartphone to see if uh, if you can work comfortably with the size of the cards okay uh, here we have pair one uh, you can pair text to text image to, to image or text to speech or uh, a combination of the three options for example I have friendly and we're going to have friendly but in audio
friendly. Okay, you add another element. Okay, I'm adding one more pair, and add another one. So yeah, I'm, I'm using text and, and text to speech. Okay, we have hide matched cards, stay visible or you may hide them, that's up to you. We have the general piece of feedback to be shown at the end and we can finish editing and show preview. Okay, I just added some uh, few options, so we don't have a lot of cards, but you can have as many as you need. Not a pair. Moody. Okay, we have a pair. We're gonna save the app. And we go to my apps. And then organize it. Go to practice. We'll create one more. Okay, we'll create uh, one using the tools. For example, let's try chat. In this case, you will not you will not be shown an example because th these are special apps. Let's call it class chat. You can have general instructions here, and you have an option to save chat history. You could use this to communicate with your students, or uh, you, you could use it as well as uh, for a reading exercise. I'll describe that later. I'm going to uh, click Finish Editing and Show Preview. So, this is what your students we'll see. So they write their names here and they choose a color. Then log in and then they type their message here and click on send. And then you have uh, a thread of messages. So you, you could use this to uh, communicate with the students. If you do not want to use something like WhatsApp, you could share this link with your students and save the, the history so you can keep track of the messages. Another way in which you can use this is to create a reading exercise. So you create the chat and then you log in as two or three different characters. They could be historical characters and, and then you type uh, a conversation. For example, what kind of conversation could these two historical characters have in in the 21st century? And then you save that and show it to, to your students so they can read and, and do some exercises based on, on this uh, fictional chat between the two or more uh, historical or fictional or invented characters. So we're going to save the app Once more, in my apps, we're going to classify it. 
and now we have six apps here in our practice folder and you can keep on adding as many as you need so i hope you find this second part of our tutorial helpful and i'm looking forward to taking a look at your own learning apps